everyone and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Uh, over the last few days I've had uh, a few different requests. One being a uh, f walking backwards. So instead of like you just walking in the other direction, you actually just walk backwards when you pull back. Um, I've also had a request about a locomotion setup um, and, and a few other things in the mix. So I thought I'd do a fun little series, a very small one, um, covering all those little factors. Uh, I'm also going to cover something that's not really covered, I've noticed in the UE5 uh, YouTube environment at this point, and that is a level transition. Uh, I've done it in one game previously, and I'd like to do it um, again, A, for my own sort of self-learning, to make sure I know it correctly, and also to show everyone... Um, how you can accomplish that because level transition can be a little bit buggy uh, when it comes to sort of player start locations um, and yeah so I thought I'd sort of cover off a few uh, different things so I thought I'd do kind of like a Resident Evil a classic Resident Evil style game where it's like the turning left and right very slowly the only forward and backward movement no fluid fluidity with your movement as much um, and sort of do the kind of camera angles as well so that's what we're going to cover in this episode it's actually very very simple uh, to do uh, I'll show you it now when we start we start with this camera here we can move around the scene but when we come over here it changes to a new camera angle um, and yeah when you come out of it because there's nothing else over here it will stay at this point until I hit another camera box but um, you can fill up your scenes with as many of these camera angles as you wanted. But I just thought it was kind of cool. Um, getting the controls is as just as confusing <laughs> as it was back in the Resident Evil day. That player controller that was like really hard to maneuver correctly until you get used to it. Um, so yeah, so it's it's really really simple. This is actually going to be a, a very very quick tutorial. Um, so as you can see, we have cameras in the scene and we have these two collision boxes. Um, so all I've done is I've created a new um, a new actor called uh, Camera Switch. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about the spelling, uh, but we'll call it Camera Switch Toot. And when you open it up, you've got nothing, so you just add in a box collision, and uh, that's literally all you kind of need. Um, obviously make it a little bit bigger you're gonna to have to change it in the scene depending on the location so you'll have to do most of this sort of shaping outside of the editor but that's fine compile um, what we want to do now is just get an on uh, begin overlap uh, we don't need the end overlap because we're just gonna go from overlap to overlap so it really doesn't matter um, cast to the third person character like so uh, we also want to do, 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 do. so it says only going to trigger on the cast casting when it hits the character um, we then want to get a set view target uh, let's untick that view set tire no view set target I've put S target God damn it. with blend so view set target with blend is what we're looking for uh, the target should be get player controller uh, let's just see if that's okay no not okay Get player controller. That's better. Uh, and then the new target, we're going to have to create a new variable. Uh, we'll call this active camera. Uh, and we want to set this to camera actor. Uh, camera actor. Uh, and we're just going to drag that out unplug that into there uh, everything else can stay the same and what this will do, oh what you need to do as well is expose this camera so you can see it in the scene in the in the map 
And then all you need to do is um, drag out the the new camera, like so. Drag it out. We want to position it how we want it, the where we want it to affect the scene. So, for example, you might only want it to um, affect here. Now, obviously, try not to overlap everything. Anything. Um, let we'll set up a couple just so we kind of can see how it looks. Now, you need to get a camera from here, so get camera actor. Now, I'm going to set up some cooler, funkier areas. I think so. We got a little viewpoint, so we can see what we can see. So it's e it makes life easier for setting things up. Now, it's not so easy tilting this to keep it straight. It can be a little bit of a, a pain. Oh, let's let's just get in a bit closer here uh, let's just turn it a bit and bring it back to a line no that should be fine um, I might move it up just a little bit so that I can definitely see everything I want to see here uh, okay that looks good to me and then we'll add um, now just make sure your box is definitely covering everything that it needs to there we go that's a little bit better uh, and then what we're going to do now is um, I'm actually going to just copy and paste this one over so we've got one here as well now make sure the boxes are touching as close as they can um, to what you're trying to affect uh, and then we need one more camera which I'm going to put down quite I'm going to do a low shot right so bring it to the back and then just have it so we've got it like this because you do get the occasional Resident Evil kind of um, uh, scenes where you walk down a corridor and the camera starts from the bottom and you kind of come out here so um, we'll do that as well so this one is camera actor I can't read it three so set this one click on it go to the details panel and find the default active camera Set that to camera three. Click on this and go down to active camera. Set that to active camera four. And then we can try it out. See how this goes. So we walk over here. We get our new camera angle. We come out here and we come here. So we go over here. Now that to me says I need to move the, the box of this one a little bit closer. Where have I gone? I've lost myself. Oh no. What's happened? <laughs> uh... Don't know what happened there. I lost myself. But it works really, really well. It's such a simple way of implementing um, a, a kind of Resin, classic Resident Evil sort of camera system. They do this in uh, Resident Evil, and I think there was um, an old Rockstar game they used to do this in as well, uh, where you had these kind of... Um, they were set up to be like recording camera systems. But hopefully you found this useful. Uh, in the next one, now that we've done this, we're going to work on a locomotion system a turn in place system and a directional movement uh, and MBP that we can use um, to create a resin, a classic Resident Evil style feel uh, and then the last thing I'll do is I'll, I'll set up a couple of different levels and we'll do like a little level transition uh, because that's how the old Resident Evils used to do it you'd have the door open they do the door transition and everything would unload and they would load in just that room. It allowed them to do like higher levels of detail in their in their their worlds because they were only le loading in a, a very small room every time. So that's how they got all those high detailed levels on such an old system. But um, we'll look at that as well. But thank you so much, guys, for watching. Hopefully, you found this useful, and I'll see you in the next uh, episode. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to leave a little comment with anything you want me to cover, and don't forget to hit that sub button. You can always change your mind. Take care. Bye.